Welcome back to Biz Asia America. I'm Michelle McCory. The Comcast recently offered to buy Time Warner Cable for $45 billion. And it comes as cable providers are losing hundreds of thousands of customers every quarter. And many of those customers are turning to streaming content providers like Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. Karina Huber explores whether the trend could mean lights out for the cable industry. The entire second season of the award-winning drama House of Cards just premiered on Netflix, all 13 episodes at once. By many measures, it was a success. Netflix doesn't provide viewing numbers, but an industry report shows roughly 15 percent of its U.S. subscribers watch the show. U.S. President Barack Obama even tweeted about it. Part of the appeal is you can watch the whole season in one shot. The whole phenomenon of binge viewing that has been talked about is uh, even more so this uh, year than last year. Welcome back. The roughly 5 million viewers who watched the new season may be small compared to a top-rated television show like American Idol, but Netflix's subscriber base is growing rapidly, while cable continues to lose viewers. I wouldn't say the death of cable is imminent anytime soon. However, over the long term, I think, I think it's a valid question as to the role of Internet television in potentially uh, replacing a chunk of viewership as we see in traditional linear television today. While American cable customers pay around 80 U.S. dollars a month for cable TV without broadband Internet, a Netflix subscription costs just $10 a month. Netflix ended 2013 with 33 and a half million members in the U.S. and another 11 million overseas for a total membership of 44 million. Even if linear television may be on the road to extinction, cable companies are likely here for the long haul. That's because the majority of U.S. households rely on cable companies for high-speed access to the Internet. Whether you watch television or use the Internet, most Americans are still paying the cable company. Broadband currently accounts for the bulk of cable industry profits. Providers have been increasing their broadband prices, but analysts think prices may soon level off. Competition is going to force the cable broadband providers against, you know, the telcos and other providers to become more realistic, and perhaps you're going to see more pricing pressure over the longer term. Where broadband pricing is headed is anyone's guess, and Comcast's $45 billion acquisition of Time Warner Cable is raising more questions about broadband pricing. That is something regulators are going to have to consider very carefully as they mull over the deal. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.